the next paper uh, after having diagnosed how the metastasis can be diagnosed we go how it has to be treated when surgery has to be done by professor mitsuya from uh, japan uh, professor mitsuya can you please uh, share your uh, slides please Thank you, Dr. Panigurahi and Dr. Jireli. I'm honored to have the opportunity to give my talk. I'm Dr. Mitsuya, Division of Neurosurgery, Shizuoka Cancer Center in Japan. Today, I'd like to talk about uh, management of brain metastasis, especially regarding surgical indications. These are today's contents. Surgical resection plays an important role in the management of patients with brain metastasis. Standard indications for craniotomy include one, diagnostic uncertainty, two, brain metastasis causing symptoms refractory to stride, three, a bulky metastasis, typically three or four centimeter oversize. Four, solitary brain metastasis. Importance of pathological and molecular diagnosis. This case, suspect of lung cancer, but bronchoscopy is difficult, challenged two times failure. So, uh, suspect of brain met surgical resection, a pathological diagnosis, non-small cell lung cancer, TTF1 positive. PDL1 tumor population score is 60%. Molecular diagnosis, driver mutation negative. So, a systemic therapy, immuno checkpoint inhibitor is effective. Now, this is a preoperative prognostic marker. We report preoperative new neutrophil to lymphocyte ratio, NLR, related to cancer and inflammation, and cancer immunology. On terminal stage, NLR increased. Median over survival after resection brain metastasis, NLR under five is 14 months, but NLR over five, only five months. Predictor of worse survival after resection. A surgical resection uh, advantages uh, resolution of mass effect and edema immediately. Rapid steroid tapering. Rapid neurological recovery. And simplified radiographic interpretation. Recurrence versus radiation necrosis. Histological confirmation of the region. Disadvantage uh, may cause delay of primary cancer treatment, requires general anesthesia, invasive procedure. In the era of development uh, pharmacotherapy, prognosis of the patient with surgical resection of brain meds is improved. This paper, non-small cell lung cancer b -meds. After resection b -meds, median over survival, surgery plus resident therapy and chemotherapy is 11.8 months, but Surgery plus radiotherapy and immuno checkpoint inhibitor is 23 months. So 
long survivor. Uh, next theme is improve local control and avoidance of leptomeningeal disease and reduce of adverse events, cognitive function and radiation necrosis important. Next, uh, two methods of surg surgery for brain metastasis. Uh, near eloquent area, recommended minimum resection. Near pyram pyramidal tract, minimum resection is recommended. Uh, dissection of gluiotic tissues, don't dissection on the tumor. And insert cotton putty around tumor margin. The infiltrated tumor cells is brain, risk of local recurrence. This paper is very important from BOMAT. Non-small cell lung cancer and sarcoma breast cancer, brain metastasis, mean depth of infil infiltration is one millimeter. But small cell lung cancer and melanoma mean depth of infiltration is two millimeter over. Risk of local recurrence. Uh, this paper is Mahajan from Mahajan MD Anders Cancer Center. Problem after surgery, local recurrence. Surgery alone versus surgery plus SRS phase three randomized control trial. Surgery plus observation Local recurrence, six months, 34%. Local recurrence, 12 months, 57 months. Very high rate. Surgery plus cavity SRS, local recurrence, six months, 15%. 12 months, 28%. Uh, non eloquent area, we recommend removal of safety margin. Non eloquent area, uncapping technique and removal with safety margin, improve the local control, protect, protect leptomeningeal dissemination. This is survey surgery for local progression of brain metastasis previously treated with STI. Recurrence after STI, tumor margin is irregular. So we recommend fence post method, removal with safety margin. Median over of survival, 20.2 months. Two removal techniques of brain meds. Piecemeal resection, deep and large tumor, eloquent area, less invasive for surrounding brain, but High dissemination risk. This is dilemma. Unblocked resection, superficial and smaller tumor, non eloquent area. Piecemeal resection is leptomeningal dissemination high risk case. This paper report. Unblock resection is 3% instead of LMD, but piecemeal resection 
is 9% incident of LMD. Advantage of neoadjuvant SRT, I think. Problem after surgery, risk of patchy meningeal failure. This paper also piecemeal resection is high risk. We report intraoperative cotton down wash cytology. Diagnosis of intraoperative LMD and prevention of post-operative LMD. Next, uh, neoadjuvant STI background. Large brain metastasis randomized control trial. A Patchell report, surgery plus post-operative WBRT. Long survivor cognitive function down. Surgery plus post op SRS Mahajan and Brown. Surgery plus salvage SRS from Kayama in Japan. New strategy Neoadjuvant SRS followed by surgery. Post-operative left meningeal dissemination improved. Symptomatic radiation necrosis improved. Our institute, 20 patients, small case series, a pilot study, five fraction SRT, Neoadjuvant fractionated stereotactic radiotherapy followed by piecemeal resection of brain metastasis. Local recurrence is 5%. Left meningeal metastasis, 5%. Symptomatic radiation necrosis, 0%. Uh, representative case. Lung cancer, premotor region, 4.6 centimeter. Large and deep metastasis. Hemiparesis, uh, very severe. KPS 60. Preoperative SRT followed by piecemeal resection. After surgery, KPS improved. Hemparesis improved and systemic therapy. Small cortical incision and uh, run nearby uh, very uh, cortical vein small cortical engine and piecemeal technique needed. Prospective study in Japan, PI is Mitsuya. Now is ongoing, uh, 57 patients in Japan, brain metastasis, Four, uh, one, two, four. Maximum diameter two to five centimeter. Neo adjuvant SRT five fraction within fourteen days surgery. MRI follow up every three months. Primary endpoint local control. Secondary endpoint symptomatic radiation necrosis and left meningeal dissemination, and so on. Preoperative SRT advantage and disadvantage. Potential advantage, local control, 
improve. Let the meningia disease and radiation necrosis avoid. This advantage is lack of pathological confirmation before SRS. Not compatible with emergent surgery. Next, palliative CSF shunting for left meningeal metastasis related to hydrocephalus in patient with lung adenocarcinoma. We report 31 patients. post op performance status improved TKI per os. PS122, median over survival, 7.7 months. CNS BBB, intraperitoneum, no barrier. So after surgery, systemic chemotherapy, TKI or ADC, Carcinomatous peritonitis avoided. Box regression analysis. ECOG PS at diagnosis of LM. And control extracranial disease. Post chant. Okay. Important of early diagnosis. Early diagnosis of left meningeal metastasis is important. Non-contrast enhanced type left meningeal metastasis. Rare hyper intensity around the brain stem surface in left meningeal metastasis. Our hospital, uh, all cancers from uh, LMD, Blue line sign, 11 patients, 7.7%. Uh, all uh, lung cancer, adenocarcinoma, EGF positive cases. We report bloomy lined sign, bloomy lined cheese like diagnosis sugar coating type is too late. So this phenomenon is Early diagnosis of left meningeal important. This is last slide. Management of brain metastasis surgical indication. Overall survival is improved. The patient with brain meds after surgical resection in the era of STI and developed uh, pharmacotherapy. Tasks improve local control, avoidance of LMD, reduce of adverse events. Much disciplinary approach is important. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Professor, for uh, uh, giving a lucid lecture on uh, when to operate and what is the role of pre-radiation pre pre and surgery in metastasis. Uh, we'll have the questions and answers after all the three lectures. And uh, I request you to please uh, 